power to a power, go ahead and multiply your exponent. Just go ahead and take care of it first. I have a power to a power. I'm going to go ahead and multiply my outer exponent by my inner exponent. That's a 6. Negative 3 times 3. Negative Don't stop. I still have a negative exponent. Think of it as a fraction. Factor the negative exponent. Moves. 6 over y to the minus. Yeah, you could move the b upstairs and make it a b to the first, or you could go ahead and multiply the outer exponent by all the inner exponents. And remember, there are three exponents inside that parenthesis. Oh yeah, 2 is also to a power. So I multiply the 2 by the exponents. I get 52, 84, b to the negative 2. Multiply 2 by each of these exponents. Hey, this is the one thing that needs to be dealt with. Move it to the other part of the fraction, in this case the numerator. 2 squared is the same as 4. Fourth, b is now to the positive two. That's when you know you're finished, and all your exponents are positive. Okay, check in another one. My suggestion to you, and it's just a suggestion, is that when you have powers to a power, go ahead and multiply your outer exponent by your inner exponents. Remember, everything has an exponent. That way you can get rid of your parentheses and start clearing out the thing. So I get 2 to the 2. I get 86. B to the negative 2, and I get B to the 6. So I multiply 2 times all my exponents. Hey, I got, I got two reasons this thing is not simplified. The first reason is I have a negative exponent, right? But there's another reason it's not completely simplified. And that's because I have B's in both the numerator and the denominator. I need to combine them. And we can basically do this in one step. That b to the negative 2 needs to come downstairs. And change the sign of the exponent. A, I'm sorry, 2 squared is 4. 86 is what's in the numerator. In the denominator, I have b to the 6 and b squared. Still not finished until I use the first property of exponents to combine these two guys. All right, that's when it's simplified. No more uh, negative exponents. I've combined uh, factors that have the same base. You want a sneaky uh, multiple choice question? See if you've uh, paid attention on the uh, properties of exponents. What is this? Here's your option.
about that for a second and choose A, B, C, or D. And then we'll talk about which one's the correct solution. All right, first thing to notice is I got the same base, right? Which means you're gonna be adding your exponents. So three and four, seven. I'm not gonna have a 12 as an exponent. So those two guys are out. Question is, is it gonna be four to the seventh or two to the seventh? The answer is, it's gonna be two to the seventh. Now, if you were thinking four to the seventh, which to be honest, many of you were, if you're thinking of four to the seventh, you were thinking like this. Hey, I add my exponents, sure, but two times two is four, right? I mean, it, 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 used, to, it used to be, but keep this in mind. You're not multiplying two times two. You are multiplying twos times twos. You are multiplying, in fact, three twos times four twos. And the way we say seven twos multiplied is two to the seventh. Keep in mind. I have the same base, I keep that base, keep that base, and add my exponents. Don't change your base, keep the same base, add your exponents. All right, for those of you who are wondering, um, we will be having a test next week. Uh, this, this right now is the week after spring break. Next week we will review and test either on Thursday or Friday. I haven't met with the uh, uh, powers that be to decide when that's going to be. I'm going to petition to be able to give my own test instead of some kind of group test or uh, department test. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. But either way, I'll be helping you review that through video uh, next week. So uh, the only the only grades left for you to do to finish out your grade in algebra is Hawks, keep doing your Hawks, and two more tests. Test two is next week. Test three will be at the end. We will not have a final exam. All right, press on and uh, do good work and get your work done by uh, Sunday at midnight, and I'll see you next time.